Hello, my name is Philip and this is for Phrasal Verbs. In this video, I'm going to be continuing my alphabetical theme. I'm going to be talking about ease up, face up to, grow apart and horse around. You can see the times that each of those phrasal verbs start along with the comment practice and quick quiz. So let's get started. Ease up is inseparable and intransitive, and it means to be less intense. Now, it can be used in a variety of situations. It could be used to be talking about pain or how much effort you put something in or the weather, lots and lots of variations. So let's look at my sample sentences. When Sally gets stressed, she eases up and goes to the beach. If Jack doesn't ease up at work, he will have mental health issues. Let's look at some real world examples. First one is uh, Kirkimus Prime. Been a rough day, but things are starting to ease up a little. And then I won't read the rest of the uh, tweet, but he's been saying that things have been very intense. Things have been really busy, but, or difficult, because he says it's been a rough day. Uh, but now things are beginning to relax a little bit more. They're becoming less uh, intense. And the next one is from Chris Cowell. I've managed 30 years. It's all about classroom management. A very wise teacher said to me in my first year, it's the iron fist in the velvet glove. It's always easier to ease up on discipline than trying to impose it later. It's the best advice I've ever been given. And as a teacher, I can uh, agree with this completely. But the point that he's making is that if you start very disciplined in a classroom, it's much easier to relax that discipline than it is to start very relaxed and then become more disciplined. So the easing up is the relaxation of the rules. Face up to is inseparable and transitive, and it means to accept that a bad situation exists and to deal with it, to do something about it. So let's look at my, uh, uh, my examples. Jack needs to face up to the fact that his team is not working hard enough. Sally refuses to face up to her responsibilities at university. All right, let's look at some real world examples. First one here is from Fuzzy Duck, mental health friendly. Working with an amazing therapist, I've been able to face up to and process everything I've been coping with for so long. So this person is saying that they've managed to accept that this is what's happening and then begin to address that situation. And the next one is from Pastoral MPA. If you're dealing with a challenge, challenge which seems too big to face up to, then break it into small chunks and take it on one piece at a time. And what this is saying is that when you realize, when you face up to a challenge and you say, Boof, that's quite difficult. Well, don't think of it as one big challenge. Think of it as smaller steps towards the final challenge and think about each individual step separately, individually. Grow apart is inseparable and intransitive, and it means to become less close or less intimate. So let's look at my um, sample sentences. Jack and his wife have a yearly retreat together to ensure they don't grow apart. Now the word retreat here means going somewhere where you uh, avoid any contact with other people and then focus on something that you want to manage or control. And then the uh, next one is, Sally realized that she had grown apart from her boyfriend, meaning that they had changed and that they were no longer as close as they used to be. So let's look at some real world example. First one is from Gabs. People are going to grow apart and that's okay. You'll always find people on your vibe. Your vibe means similar interests, similar things that you enjoy doing, the same kind of person. And the next one is from KP. It's okay to grow apart from people you thought you would be close with forever. And he's saying that people change. Don't try to be a different person just so that you can remain friends or close with somebody. Accept that you will change and you will probably grow apart from the people who you currently think you will be friends with forever. To horse around is inseparable and intransitive. Now it doesn't have to be related to horses as we'll see in one of the tweets. And it simply means to play in a very lively or rough way. It doesn't have to be rough, 
but it can be. It just means being silly just to have a little bit of fun. Let's look at my real world examples. S uh, sorry, my sample sentences. Sally likes to horse around with friends on Sunday mornings. When Jack is home alone, he likes to horse around with toilet rolls. Okay, there, some just some silly examples. And let's have uh, some real world examples. This is from uh, Justin Staggs. I just came here to assert that it's possible for horses to monkey around and for monkeys to horse around. Good night. This is a really funny tweet. And to monkey around is a phrasal verb which means exactly the same as to horse around. To just be silly. And he's sort of switched those two animals there. And this is from Lauren Howard. She looks like she's a TV presenter. Tried to be professional, but my subject just wanted to horse around. Can't wait to share this story with you, this fun story soon. So even though it's a horse, that's like added benefit to the situation. This horse just wanted to play and just have a little bit of fun. Time for the quiz. How much can you remember? As always with the comment practice, I would like you to write one long sentence or one short paragraph using each of the phrasal verbs. If you can somehow put them into one long story or idea, that would be fantastic. But don't worry if you can't. I will check your comments and correct any mistakes that you've made or offer some suggestions. As always, thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, on the screen at the moment is a subscription button. Please consider subscribing. Here is a playlist of some phrasal verbs that you might find interesting. And down here is a video that YouTube thinks will be really interesting for you based on what you've been watching. And remember, do something every single day to improve your English. See ya.